What makes me qualified to give you advice? What makes me qualified to tell you to not give up? Do I have anything to show for it? Is there a reason why you're watching this video? Is there a reason why the title enticed you, connected with your soul, connected with, with your spirit? The thing is, a lot, a lot of times our spirit knows things and realizes things before we do. They know why we go through certain things. They know why we go through trials and tribulations. And we would think that we wouldn't choose these things to go through. But the fact of the matter is, we do choose them. So what gives me the qualification to encourage you to keep moving forward, to stay focused on your goals, and to smile often? What is it? Who am I? Do I know anything? I've come to discover on my journey that I really don't know anything at all. So that maybe seem counterintuitive when I try and sell my services to other people. Because I consider myself a sort of artistic observer of this universe. And it almost seems that as an observer, I'm almost not allowed to say anything, but to simply observe. But we live in a world where we are in the marketplace. And the most important factor of that marketplace is not necessarily the item that we're selling, but the purpose and intent behind that. Who are we? Because ultimately we give ourselves to this world. You know, it's a beautiful day here. The sun is shining. I have a pick in my hair, which may seem a little unprofessional. But it's a beautiful day and you are beautiful. I want to encourage you all to continue practicing, to keep doing what you're doing, to keep being who you are. And even if you seem like you don't have anything to show for it, do not, do not, I repeat, do not give up on yourself and do not discount your actions. Do not discount those sleepless nights. Do not discount those many trials, those many attempts to work on your thing, to keep practicing. Do not discount it. The other day, a few weeks back, I saw a kid out on a baseball field. And he was the only one on that baseball field. And he was practicing his swings. And I thought that that was very important. Because what I saw in that kid was someone who is going to continue going for it even when no one is looking. Of course, I was looking. But that kid probably didn't know that. And I think a lot of times what happens is that people... When other people are looking at us while we're practicing, we get nervous and we try and be something that we're not. We try to project this image of perfection, that we have it all figured out, that we know what we're doing and that people can trust us. But people can trust us because we are vulnerable and authentic and we are who we are. We mess up. Sometimes you don't hit the ball. Sometimes it may take 10 times to hit that ball, but then on that 11th time you hit it and you feel great. But then you might miss a few more times and then you hit it again. Then you might miss a few less times, then you hit it again. Next thing you know, those balls are soaring out of the field. But it takes time to get to there. And we all have our own unique journeys that we're on, right? And it's a beautiful thing. But inherently, we want to help each other. We want to help each other rise in love. We want to help each other come to this next level. And why? Because we all have a gift. And, we all, and when we are all contributing our gift to this world, we can raise the vibration of this entire space, of humanity, of all the creatures that inhabit this earth. We can really do something amazing. And everyone has their own unique gifts. And we have to remember that fire inside that is always burning to keep going for it anyways. Even when it seems like no one cares, even when we receive resistance and opposition to what we're doing, what remains is that creative force. And it's always there. It's always there. It's always there watching. It's always there lending a hand. It's always there with the door wide open, just ready for us to walk to, to walk through that door, to walk through that portal and into a new world, 
to a new life, and to a new reality, a new observation, a new way of being. It's always there. I love you guys so much. And just know that even if you don't feel qualified, your spirit is most certainly qualified. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Because everyone has a message. And that message is rooted in love. Of course, we have to figure out what love is, right? Love backwards spells evil, but it's with an O. And that O is a placeholder. So what are you going to put into that placeholder? What are you going to put into that placeholder? It's a seed of creation from which beautiful things can blossom, as well as ugly things. But even in those ugly things, even in those things that people may seem as weird and austere, somebody's going to find it beautiful. Someone's going to find the value in that. And that, my friends, is why you should keep moving forward.